one to two tablespoons of oil to the pan. I'm using avocado oil, but you can use any type of oil that you like. Let that heat up for a minute or so, and then you're going to add the curry powder. Add one tablespoon of the Jamaican curry powder. And then you're going to stir that in. And then you're going to let that cook until the curry powder changes color to a darker shade of brown. So you just keep watching it until it changes color. Be careful not to let it burn. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but it has now changed color. So you're going to add the chickpeas and coat it in the curry. These chickpeas are the tinned ones, so they're actually already cooked. There's a funny one in here. Let me take that out. Yeah, so you stir it around until the curry coats all of the chickpeas like that. Give it a good stir so everything gets coated. And then you're gonna let that cook for about three minutes. That's now been cooking for three minutes. Three minutes is done. You give it a good chance to let the flavor of the curry get into the chickpeas. And you're going to add some seasonings. You're going to add one teaspoon of cumin. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of garam masala, or you can use coriander as well have it. Two teaspoons of all-purpose seasoning. And then give that a stir. It smells wonderful. You can smell all the spices coming together to make this delicious dish. going to add two to three cloves of garlic I'm using my garlic press here for this
one to two teaspoons of minced fresh ginger. Then one small onion, diced. Half a large or one small red pepper that you've diced as well. It's giving it a nice pop of color to the dish. Give that a good stir and some freshly ground black pepper. Stir that again. And then two and a half cups of coconut milk. Just put half in first and give it a stir. And then add the rest. Add your diced carrot, green beans, and sweet corn. Stir that around. It gives it a wonderful burst of colour now, and textures and extra flavour and also bulks out the dish a bit more as well with some healthy options. Nice veg in there. It's a good way to get your kids to eat their veg as well. Stir it in like this. Add your fresh thyme and three, two to three stalks of scallion or green onions spring onion some people call it. Stir that in. And then you're going to place a scotch bonnet pepper in the middle. Now providing you don't open this you get flavour but you won't get heat. Because for me I, I can take a little bit of heat but if you open this it, it, I promise you it will be very hot but if you don't then you're good it will give you nice flavor but not too much well it won't give you any heat if it's not open so that's fine all right so you cover that and let it simmer on a medium to low heat for about half an hour, for about, not half an hour, for about 10 minutes. So you cover that, so you cover that and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, this is how it looks, it smells wonderful. Mm. Give it a taste. It tastes lovely. I think it needs a little extra seasonal. So I'm just going to put in half a tablespoon. Put that in and give it a stir. That 
is great. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the thumbs up hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll see more videos just like this one eat good eat clean eat blessed thank you so much for watching see you next time bye